Hello everyone. In today's class, on the subject of modern bank management, in the unit 1, on primary functions of a bank, let us try to understand the primary functions of banks. Here primary functions of a bank normally refer functions of commercial banks, functions of cooperative banks, functions of regional rural banks, not in the sense of functions of central bank. Myself, Dr. Srinivasaya K. from the Department of Collegiate Education, Government of Karnataka. The learning objective of this session is to understand primary functions of commercial banks, that is cooperative banks, regional rural banks, except Reserve Bank of India. Session outcome, students will be able to understand the day-to-day -day operations in the bank after understanding this session. Further, my presentation plan is like this. Introduction of the topic, meaning of a bank, primary functions, references and MCQs. Introduction to commercial banks. See, commercial bank play a very significant role in any economies. These commercial banks play a very important role because the economic development, agricultural development, industrial development, service sector development, one or the other way directly or indirectly depended on this commercial sec, uh, this commercial bank so therefore so these commercial banks play a very significant role in encouraging in stimulating these commercial bank these commercial activities of any any society as well this commercial banking system in present day, very important three ancestors that is the merchant, the goldsmith and money lender. With this, commercial banks has been a word. Earlier, people used to sit on a bench, then they are going to do the commercial trade, commercial activities. So that bench slowly became bank. Then it is now we are, now we are all calling it is commercial bank. The example, important example where we can take the State Bank of India as a commercial bank. State Bank of India, what are the functions, primary functions it is being performed. So that normally which you understand, so that will be more than enough the function that is primary functions of a uh, commercial banks. See here, uh, modern commercial banks perform a number of functions to provide number of services to the various sections of the society and to the government as well, which means to say that commercial banks are going to perform a number of services to its customers and government. According to Professor Sayers, an ordinary banking business consists that is changing of cash for bank deposits and bank deposits for cash, transforming bank deposits from one person to another person. So giving bank deposits in exchange, government banks, the record promises of businessmen to reply loan. So, so to, sorry, to repay loan. So therefore we can say that here commercial banks are the banks, a financial institution which accepts deposits and at the same time they are going to lend the same to its customer. It's a business unit, that's all. 
Next, the meaning of a commercial bank. The top commercial banks refers to a financial institution that accepts deposits, offers checking account services, make various loans and offers basic financial products like certificates of deposits and savings accounts to to an individuals and small businesses. So here we can say that commercial banks are the banks which accepts the deposits at the same time they are going to lend the same deposits to its customers and other financial institutions, individual small businesses. Whatever the earnings they are going to make from that business, they are going to develop themselves and also they are giving some amount of return to its customers. Further, functions of a bank. These functions of commercial banks is broadly categorized into primary functions, subsidiary, agency and secondary functions and miscellaneous services. Among these three kinds of the categories of functions are being performed by commercial banks. In this three categories of functions, today we are understanding on primary functions of commercial banks. Acceptance of deposits. In the acceptance of deposits, very important. So what are the important kinds of deposits being accepted by commercial banks. For most functions of a bank, the accepting deposits from the public, that is, three kinds of deposits banks are going to accept, that is, fixed deposit account, that are, they are also called time deposits. With these tip, fixed bank deposits, commercial banks are going to relatively pay little more interest towards its customers because it the money is with them there is a time for them to do business with that particular uh, uh, amount which is being maintained by the customer with the bank so fixed bank account fixed deposits accounts are maintained by the customers with the bank on a fixed period say about one year maybe, three year maybe, five year maybe, ten year maybe like that. So these fixed account deposits are relatively fetching more return to a customer. Next, current account. Current accounts are the accounts opened by normally a businessman. So where the n number of transactions are going to conduct by this account holder. Here in the fixed bank deposits, normally it is restricted for further, further kind of transactions. It is only once account is opened and uh, while closure, while closuring, which means to say that when it is get matured, only during that time this fixed deposits operations will take place. But current account it is not like that. The current account deposits, so n number of transactions a customers can undertake. Normally, businessmen are going to open this account. On this bank account, normally they are going to give less amount of rate of interest being uh, given to its customers. Normally now, maybe around 3.5% uh, of interest to where banks are going to give to its customers. So normally, on these current account holders, there is a facility called Overdraft facility, this overdraft facility is given to a customer during uh, during any kind of an emergency uh, to meet a, the variable expenses whenever he needs it. Saving bank account, it is very important bank account being opened by customers with the commercial banks. All small saving holders, all individuals are going to open an account with the bank. It is called saving bank account. Whenever they have money in their account, they can go and deposit with the bank. With this saving bank account, normally the rate of interest is relatively 
more than the current account and less than the fixed deposit. So therefore, this saving bank account normally it is opened by the general public. It, through these important different deposits, commercial banks is going to collect money. With this money only, they are going to fund, they are going to lend to the other different purposes. With that only, they are going to earn, then they are in the bank business. So that is further advancing loans. So in the advancing loans, what are the different kinds of loans they are going to advance? So these as a primary functions of commercial banks, they are going to advance the uh, loans in the form of discounting of bills and exchange. In the discounting of bills and exchange, commercial banks are going to collect so that bills of exchange, in this bills of exchange, after collecting, after collecting with a popular type, a modern bank, so they want, whenever the exchange, the exchange wants money immediately, bank provides them money by discounting bills of exchange. By discounting the bills of exchange, commercial banks are going to give money to its customer. So, it is a kind of a advancing loan as a primary function to its customer. Next, overdraft. Overdraft facility is given to the current account holder of a bank customer. A current account holder can draw more money than is outstanding amount in his current account. This overdraft is ex facility is extended only, a, only to a current account holder. With this current account holder, he is going to he is going to make he is going to make a, a kind of a uh, variable expenses uh, he or she in the business house. So that is called overdraft facility, which is being. Uh, over of over of facility over of facility which is being made. Further, the cash credit cash credit is also been arrangement made. A borrower allowed in advance under the separate account card a cash credit. Cash credit is the a customer is allowed to borrow money in a separate account. Separate credit cash account is called cash credit. Whenever, whenever the money he has, so that is in the easy installment, he can pay back that cash credit. So that is the important function, a primary function of a commercial bank. Next. Term loan. Term loan means the different kind of a short term loan, medium term loan, long term loan. In the short term loan, to meet uh, for a farmer during the sowing season, for a businessman, for the to meet its variable expenses. And in the medium term, medium term loan to purchase any land to purchase building and long term similarly to purchase land and to make any permanent changes on the land assets, land assets, permanent changes any on any industrial sites, this term loan being extended by the commercial bank to its customers. So this is the term loan being extended as a primary function of a commercial bank making ordinary loan. A making ordinary loan means your day-to-day -day transactions, day-to-day -day transactions on the basis whatever the money is available with them based on that liquidity commercial banks are going to take decision about extending loan.
about extending loan. Same time, the personal loan is also one of the important segment nowadays. Whenever an individual needs immediate money, they are going to meet with the bank officials on the basis of his credentials, whatever the uh, saving bank account or a current account or a fixed account they have, on that basis they are going to avail loan. So that is, it is going to give a very good return to the bank as well and also it is going to have a benefit for a customer uh, during an very emergency season for the uh, for uh, uh, for them. Then car loan. Car loan is also a very important uh, type of a, a function which is being performed by a commercial bank as a primary function. As a primary function. So, at the same time, as a primary functions, they are going to, they are going to create credit. The creation of credit is also an important function of a commercial bank. Commercial bank, then again, the credit will be controlled by, controlled by central bank. The creation of credit will take place with the commercial banks. That is, suppose the a customer has taken loan of rupees 10,000, when has been charged at the rate of interest at the rate of 10% per annum, that is, so next year that is going to become 10,000, 11,000. Like that, it has been adding and adding, it is going to create money, it is going to create the credit, as a result, economic activities will be encouraged in the system. Promotion of check system is also one of the primary functions of a commercial bank. During with this check system, commercial banks, commercial banks are going to make business and other activities more convenient. As a result, economic activities will be encouraged more. Nowadays, with this check system, it is becoming, it is less importance because of RTGS and NEFT transferring money and inter internet transfer of money becoming very, very popular as well. Bank render a very useful services of checks because it is an authenticated document. It is a negotiable instrument. People found check is more convenient method to settle their debt than through the use of cash. Nowadays, use of hard cash becoming very less in talk. Only the digital money is taking more into uh, consideration and more into the importance among everybody. Next, the to prepare this to prepare these important functions, primary functions of commercial bank. These are the references has been used and. Uh, the MCQ, multiple choice questions, is the primary functions of a bank. Uh, that is I, the initial uh, spelling mistake has come. So, uh, so that is uh, primary functions of a bank is acceptance of deposits, vehicle loan, education loan, agriculture loan, Though these are all the functions of a primary functions of a commercial bank, acceptance of deposits are the top priority of a commercial banks. The bank pays a small interest on demand deposits, saving bank deposits, fixed deposits, or recurring de recurring deposits when it comes, so we can say that, so that is saving bank accounts are going to get the lesser rate of interest. Current account is maintained by businessmen, normally student, teacher, farmer, they are the saving bank account holders. Bank gives call loan for a maximum days, that is for a 15 days. Time banks are going to give 
a cross known facility which of the following is not a function of a bank so that is to supply input to a farmer it is not the function of a commercial bank so these are the important functions performed by commercial banks to recap commercial bank primary functions i have discussed in the primary functions acceptance of deposits and lending loan these are the very two important functions which i have explained here acceptance of deposits in the following methods commercial banks are accepting the deposits that is saving bank account fixed bank accounts current bank accounts and recurring bank accounts through these four kinds of bank accounts commercial banks are accepting the deposits same is being given loan to the customers the loan is being given to the customers in the form of term loan in the form of cash credit in the form of discounting of bills and exchange in the form of overdraft in the form of other the investment funds with these different methods they are going to giving loan facilities to its customer for the creation of money or a creation of credit it is the third important function of a commercial banks the creation of credit means they are commercial banks are going to create the credit this year when they extend the loan facility of rupees 10000 next year it will become the 11000 with the 10% rate of interest like this it is keep on adding it so therefore these are the different uh, primary functions which i have been explained to you all learn very well thank you my dear all